Okay, hi, and welcome back. 22 remain. See, I'm guessing. I can't tell you how many times I've woken up on this sofa after a long night of engineering work. He's definitely remembering stuff. And none of this. Okay. So, upstairs then. And we see what happens next. Rena was a bit of a clothes horse. Her hat boxes and shoe boxes had a way of appearing throughout the house. This really should be in the bedroom. Oh, darn you. Just need to check if I turned off my recording. No, I didn't. Yeah, there's a slight thwack of me um, hitting my keyboard. So I'm guessing the lights are manifestations of his memories. You son of a... That book... We call this the bridge. It connects the main library to the house. We added it during one of our remodels. Architectural snobs weren't very happy with us, but Sodom, it was very practical. I thought I saw a book fly off. Just trying to keep... How are we doing? Getting there. Yeah, you do have to go around multiple times, as they do. <laughs> okay. Ain't none of those. Once more round. Then it's the music room. Okay, music room, here we come. Oh, so many things here. But you're not reacting oddly. 
Watch the cables there. I've tripped over them more than once. You wouldn't want to go down face first in here, believe me. Okay. What's going on? It's lagged quite incredibly. See that stutter? I have fond memories of this room. Green and I would throw extravagant parties here and invite all the stars in the silver fur. Usually we would have a band or quartet play. Uh, no, not you. But you, you. Giant fish. Okay, that's it for now. So we have a pressure plate. Yeah, we have another pressure plate. And we have First off, we want this. That's a straight line. That's a straight line. <sighs> it reminds me of a proton thing from Ghostbusters. Okay. Pressure plate up there. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Thanks. 
so. Everything points to pushing that now. What the hell? How is that sticking on that wall? Seriously. Okay, so... I'm guessing we're gonna need to use you guys. sorted out what those lights are. <laughs> what? They're not just party tricks? They're me. That is to say, they're fragments of my own mind. We found a way to extract brain waves, mental energy, and convert them into light waves, essentially. Each time I receive those lights, my memories return, literally. That's ridiculous. It's quite possible, I assure you. The proof is right in front of you. Clearly, the memories can survive outside of the host without any degradation. Fascinating. This means the damage isn't permanent. Thank God for that. So, this is real. You're really a person who looks like a blob, and whose mind is splattered all over the mansion. That's quite a description. You have a way with words. I'll give you that. But... That's all I can remember at the moment. Here, just give me some more lights and then I'll know more. Whoa, what was that? Blast it! Blast it! Bloody Russian couplings always fail me. I knew I should have used Sheffield Steel. Don't worry, I can fix it. Of course I can fix it. I built these machines, didn't I? I can damn well make them go. Hey! Hey, there are those images again! What? Oh, yes, yes. When you focus your mind down here, your thoughts appear. I'm thinking about the schematics for this machine. I'll have it sorted out in no time. Well, I'm glad you can keep that stupid thing going because it's my ticket out of this place. And I don't plan to stay down here forever with you. It won't break. Uh, I just did. She's not in danger, not yet anyway. There. What? That's better. Oh, that's good news. But she still needs my help. So I need to do something that's quite difficult for me, frankly. What's that? Another dose, please. I need to trust you. 
because I need to get out of here, and you're the only one who can make that happen. Trust me with what? You've seen my mansion. You've seen the machines. But that's only the tip of the iceberg. Did you know there's a lab in there? No, there isn't. I didn't see one. You're not supposed to see it. It's hidden away from prying eyes. But if you help me, I'll give you full access to it. And more besides. Maybe I'll just find it on my own. One more time, if you would. Ah. Oh, that's better. No, you won't. It's under lock and key. But you are going to find the keys, and then you'll go into the lab and help me escape this place. In exchange, I'll give you something you've been dreaming of. <laughs> oh, really? What am I dreaming of, Talbot? I have some ideas about that. And, at any rate, everything I need to help Rena is in the lab. So it's important. Will you help me? I'm at your mercy. Okay, sure. Good. That's settled then. Here's how you access the lab. I designed a series of locks to keep the lab safe. You need to collect the keys to open those locks. The keys themselves are only accessible when you complete all three circuits in a room. Which rooms? That I don't know. But I do remember that there are eight keys. You know when you found one because they're marked in a small, unique image. As soon as you find one, bring it to me so that I can activate it. It won't work otherwise, you say. Extra security. Sounds like you went through a lot of trouble to hide a couple of keys. Couldn't you just, I don't know, hide them under a fake rock or something? I taught mechanical engineering, my dear. Tinkering was my specialty. But never mind that. The sooner we finish our work, the sooner I can help Rena. I'm no use to her until I can remember what happened and work to fix it. Don't forget to bring me those keys as soon as you find them. Okay. Jeez, a secret lab sounds great and all, but I'm not going to risk my life just to see it. Okay, Patterson, be smart about this. You saw what happened with that machine. I can't let myself get stuck down there. No way. If one of those things goes on the fritz again, I am out of here. For good. I don't care how sad his stupid story is. I don't stick my neck out for anybody. And besides, this whole story about his wife, it's weird. Something isn't adding up here. I don't get it. There's something he isn't telling me. I don't have enough of a story yet. All I know so far is that there's a secret lab that he's keeping under serious lock and key. If I can get in, I'll have a kick-ass story for sure. I'd go to the foyer if I were you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not you. I want to collect as many of these as I can. Four. Just wrecking the place, sir. One. 
Okay. This was my father's violin. He practiced playing it for 50 years. I can't say he did much good there. He never quite got the hang of it. Okay. So he reckons the foyer. Let's go and have a look. You completed the circuit. circuits in this room. You completed the circuit. Uh, yeah, I'm getting used to that. through yet. Yeah. going through the door at the end. You completed the circuit. Hey. Okay. Well, this is getting bigger. Such a small thing. That's locked. But yeah, I think this is where I'm going to call it for now. And say thanks for watching, and next time. We're going to start playing in this large room. Boy, I'm looking forward to that. You have a good one. Till then, take it easy.